My name is Hall. I'm a backgammon player from uh, Norway. And uh, at the moment I'm actually sick, laying in bed uh, with COVID, but uh, doing quite well, getting a little bored. So what I do is I try to practice a little backgammon. And one of the absolute best places to pr practice backgammon is uh, Backgammon Studio Heroes which is actually made by a Norwegian uh, backgammon player, Talia. Um, and um, uh, I don't know if you used uh, his uh, backgammon site before, but if you haven't, you should definitely try it out. And one thing that I find very useful is uh, his section called Practice. So if you uh, click on Practice up here, you log on and then you will find this uh, welcome page with four panes. And uh, if you go to training tracks, you will find a lot of um, um, what he called training tracks, which are different uh, uh, positions and situations that might occur during the, uh, the game. Um, and uh, this is just an amazing place to practice your uh, backhand skills and, and, uh, and maybe uh, practice the areas where you have uh, uh, some, uh, some problems. Um, I have been stuck a little bit on uh, what's called the opening reply. Uh, I think this is a great place to start, you know, the first uh, move and then uh, I, I think it's called first here, by the way. And then the next one is opening reply, how to reply to a first move. And this couldn't be surprisingly difficult. Uh, everyone talks about how how easy backgammon is compared to chess, but I think at least one thing that's more difficult than backgammon is uh, the openings. Because in chess it seems like... Uh, uh, you, uh, the players move their first through their first uh, uh, draws very quickly. Um, it's almost automatic. Well, in backgammon, even how to reply to an opening can be surprisingly difficult. Um, if you click over here, you can see the high scores. And uh, it's just amazing. There are some people that's managed uh, several hundred uh, correct moves in a row. Uh, my high score was 57 uh, and uh, now I don't even come close to this so I, I need to uh, go back and practice this again. Today my high score was 5 and um, you can see even my palm that had four, 414 at this point uh, only had 7 today. So I'm gonna try to keep it going, uh, hopefully get 15. Uh, this is my first goal. If I can't get 15 in a row, then I'll try to beat my, my pump score at least and get more than seven. So let's get started. <coughs> so here's double three. Um, I think there would be two moves to consider. I think maybe uh, a fairly aggressive one like this. And another one would be, well, actually there are three moves. Th this is kind of standard double three. And then you have this one. And the reason why this could be okay now is that uh, um that the opponent opponent would concentrate uh, making points here and not hitting out here and here we uh, we do two good things uh by moving forward getting advanced anchor and and um, making our golden uh, i i think i go for this one That's wrong. Oh. 
So, <laughs> zero in a row. So let's see. This was zero point twenty two wrong. You know, not a super big error, but big enough error that uh, you get off to a, a little bad start. And this is so important in backend that your first moves are correct so that uh, uh, the the game develops uh, to your advantage. So correct move, uh, get the anchor, I was correct there, and then uh, make a, not the five point but the three point. Okay, let's start again. Four three. Score three two to five. Um, I see two possible moves. Uh, no. Actually, I I think I would do like this. Here the 2's is uh, duplicated. It wants to hit with a 2 and also hit me. Out here with a 2 so I'll go for this. Yeah, one in a row. <laughs> Finally. 4-3. Back in the match. 3-4-2-11. By the way, uh, all these uh, positions that come up uh, is taken from a huge database that uh, Tali has collected uh, where he has um, uh, taken all the mistakes that's been made and uh, categorized them. So so, uh, so in this play, uh, Alan, who's on roll now, obviously made a mistake. So. Um, all the positions we see are mistakes that have been made. So actually you try to to find the correct move and do better than uh, what the uh, uh, player did in the actual match. And if you want to see which match this was, we go to, uh, to the menu and match info. So here you can see this was uh, Madison tournament back in 2021 and here you can even see uh, the PRs that the players played on during this match. John O'Hagan 2.84 excellent PR. Okay 4-3 um, I think I would go with a standard 4-3 yes that's correct. Um, Mistake being made was that he went up to the 20 point instead of 21. 5 1. Okay, 1 is for sure hit. Um, my guess is that uh, maybe John hit uh, twice, but uh, it's actually only c correct to hit uh, once. Yeah, and yes, he hit twice, and that was a 0 0.41 mistake. Fairly sizable mistake, I would say. Okay, 9, 7 to 11. Um, here the opponent has slotted the 5. Actually, what I found is that it's often correct to slot to five, and uh, uh, I don't do that too much, and I should learn to do it more often. And I wonder if that even might be correct now. I'll give it a try. Yeah. So the only correct move here without um, 
getting one wrong is to to slot. Um, if you make a mistake that's within 0 0.15, then it's uh, what Tally calls uh, too close to call. Uh, and then uh, it's not like a mistake in, in this uh, practice. You, you get to continue on. It's counted as correct. Um, well, this looks very similar to the one before. So this is uh, easy. Same mistake was being made here. But here it has a little bit more merit since you were way behind in the match. And actually you're not afraid of uh, losing Gammon. On the contrary, you uh, you want to win Gammon, so that's why you can be very aggressive. Double one, okay. Uh, are you gonna waste your double one by using all fours to hit? I should uh, I should know what's correct here, but actually I'm not uh, quite sure. I think I would go for a priming game myself here. And uh, there's a pretty good chance I will make also the 8, since uh, my opponent will be occupied by making his uh, golden here. So let's try for this one. That's correct. And to hit a small mistake, 0 0.16. Okay, six in a row. Double three. Oh, often make mistakes on these. So, um, forward and uh, making the three, I guess. Yeah, I've, this is quite similar to a task I've had before. Ah, oh. I have big problems with these double threes. Sometimes it's correct to make uh, the three point here. Other times you should make the five point. Other times uh, ten point. Hmm. Okay. Six in a row. I think I'll split and one down from the mid. Yep. Um, Kaspa played two down. Uh, I can see why he did that, because he's behind in the match, wanted to play aggressive, but uh, still, it's, I guess it's more important also to get an anchor. Okay, six, hit for sure. Uh, three, okay, two possibilities, one down to continue the blitz in a way, or one up to try to Get an anchor. Uh, score is 3-3. Three, three. So it's 4 away, 4 away. Tempting to go with 2 down. Um, I think I chicken out and try to go for advanced anchor at the same time as I'm hitting. Yeah. Whoa. Two down. It's actually a, a blunder. Very sizable mistake. So we just win much more games doing this way than 
and this almost 2%. And the gammons are actually surprisingly about the same. 6-2. Um, I would be tempted to slotting the 5 now since he is trying to establish some points here and will be occupied by that and not hitting my blot but of course if he gets a 4 he will hit the blot and then I will stop him from making a point here but then again I'm leading 16-12 to 23 which indicates a more or a less bold play but hmm. I think I'll I'll try this. Nope. Well, made the same mistake as uh, Manfred. And this is uh, quite quite a mistake. Uh, I could actually have run all the way. It would have been acceptable. Or just playing the standard move. Um, danger, of course, is that uh, you're hit and he, m he makes a point. But if he does not hit you or you have a chance of making an uh, uh, anchor at the 18. Two in a row. Okay, two hitting for sure. Um, two way four away. Oh, I think I take the standard. Yeah. That's a little bit too much to go down with two from the mid. One two to eleven, Chris Bray. Very good player, a friend of mine from England. Um, I think I'll go with a standard. Fours are somewhat duplicated. Correct. And what did you do, Chris? You. Hit. I can see why he did that. Uh, you take away half the move of your opponent, so it's more difficult for him to to continue making the point here. But it's a little bit uh, too much, but uh, but absolutely acceptable. So this also uh, depends a little on the uh, style of the player. Um, three, two. I'm tempted to just go down with two, like uh, the opponent did. Let him make a point here, and I'll make a point myself. Yeah, and here's one of these too close to call. So this is also what uh, Jeb did, and another. Um, a good move would be to to do like this, to go down to the 10 and move forward to try to establish an anchor. Six two. So six, yeah. I think move to six up and down with it too. Just yeah. Oh, this was uh, not <laughs> not the best move at all. 
a big uh, David uh, made a big blunder here by playing way too aggressive. Five three. Uh, my guess is that Chiva uh, uh, made the three point, but uh, I think here you definitely should hit the blot. Yeah, he made the three, which is a big mistake. Four one. Oh, I think uh, we need to hit the blot and just split the back man. Yeah. Okay, six in a row. Oh, this is very similar. Uh, my guess is that the player may be hit twice which uh, will be a little bit too much. Um, we could also bring a man down. I think I would do this if I was behind in the race. Uh, I mean behind in the game or match. But I'm not. I'm leading 4-0 to 9, so I'm going for this. Correct. 7 in a row. Uh, eight, nine to eleven, so three away, two away. Um, uh, this would be standard for one, and I think it would work pretty well here too. One could. Be more aggressive and slot on five. Hmm. Oh, I might miss this one. Um. I think I'll go with this. No, it was the other one. So I guess you should use the opportunity to slot here while he is trying to to build a, um, a prime on the other side of the board. Okay, well, seven in a row. So I didn't beat my pawn, but uh, I tied him. Okay, one more go. Let's see, I need to... I need to find a charge. There we go. Okay. Well, here, isn't it just to make the, the three? What on earth did, uh, huh? Maybe this is a very old game. Oh, this is from 1976. Dallas Backgammon game tournament. Malcolm Davis played at a uh, 9.79. Before the time of the bots, and I, I think they didn't like to make a uh, deep point like that. 3 2. Um, 4 way, 4 way. Well, I think just the normal. So, Neil Casseros, a very good player. You made a mistake here, Neil. Yeah, you did like me. And which was a small mistake, just outside the 0 0.15 range. So down with two. 
I guess it's uh, because you need to be very aggressive here when you go for for gammon. Acute gammon, cubed gammon will win you the match. So, and here the back man will split. Of course, bigger chance to hit you, but at the same time, if you can start to make some prime here and and maybe um, uh, hit the man, you can maybe get a gammon and a cube. Okay, not too good. Four one. Uh, I think it's too much to to slot on the five. I think I'll go for this. Yeah. Yeah, he slotted, which I expected. Poor McGrill. McGrill. Hmm. Probably an old match again. No. 2017. New York Metro. Very similar. I'll do the same thing. And they slaughtered the five again. Four three. Um behind two five to seventeen in the match. Uh tempting to go down with two from the mid, but I think actually the correct is to is to split the backman because here the opponent will have to bring down um, bring down uh, from the mid so and we want to be ready to to hit uh, any man that comes from the mid here. Okay, let's uh, let's do like this. Correct. Well, it would have been a small mistake to go down with two. When you bring it up to 21 and not 20, then you duplicate the twos. You need 6-2, for instance, to hit, and here you need 2 to hit. 5-2. <coughs> Behind in the match. Uh, little tempting to slot on four, but at the same time I want to have uh, an anchor. So I think I'll just move forward. Yeah. And I was slotted to four, which was a mistake. Would have been fine also to bring down two. Six four. I think this is standard. Too close. Yeah, you can run all the way. You can, the reason you can run all the way here and it's still correct is that the opponent has built the the golden and. Uh, the danger, of course, is that uh, he will start to, to blitz you. Uh, which um, makes it more correct to run. Okay. Uh, 10, 5 to 13. I think here we just uh, split and down. Yeah. 6, 4. Zero zero to five. He has split. Oh, I think we'll just uh, make the two, and uh, he will be in danger of being uh, blitzed. Alternative is to run all the way, but I I think this is correct. Not too close. Yeah, you can run all the way, or make the two. It's almost equal play. Six, 
six four three three two eleven. Uh, here I think we'll just run all the way. Okay, eight in a row. Um, I could actually hit on the one here with the, my five to take away half the throw of the of the opponent. I could also move forward to the 20 but uh, then I he can hit me and make the golden point which he really wants um, or bring down two it's a little passive so uh, actually uh, this one I'm not quite sure of I think I'll bring down two Nope. He did a hitting play, which was not correct. A uh, little too much. The correct was to go forward. Okay. Go all the way would also be a little mistake. And mine was 0 0.035. Yeah, too passive. Here you need to fight for this uh, point. Hmm. Okay. Well, I I managed one of my uh, uh, goals was to to pass my palm. Um, I don't think I'll go for fifteen. It will take uh, too long. But uh, also, you, you get the point on how this uh, works on on the server, so uh, I would encourage you to, to check out uh, Talia's uh, great server, and uh, maybe you can try to beat my, my score. And uh, if you can beat my 57, I'll be impressed, and if you can get up to the 100s, I'll be super impressed. Good luck.